In this video, we will explore zooming and panning in Igor Pro. First, choose the Windows New Graph menu item. In the dialog box, if necessary, uncheck the From Target checkbox. Next, in the Y Waves list, select Spiral Y. In the X Wave list, select Calculated. Then click Do It to create the graph. Note that the X axis goes from 0 to 50. This is because the Set Scale command, which we executed earlier in a previous video, set the X scaling property of Spiral Y, which tells Igor how to compute an X value from a point number. Choosing Calculated from the X Waves list graphs the Spiral Y data values versus these calculated X values. Position the cursor in the interior of the graph. The cursor changes to a crosshair shape. Now, to zoom in on the graph, click and drag down and to the right to create a marquee, as shown. You can resize the marquee with the black squares, or handles. Also, you can move the marquee by dragging the dashed edge of the marquee. Now, position the cursor inside the marquee. The mouse pointer will change to a new shape, indicating that a pop-up menu is available. Click and choose Expand from the pop-up menu. The axes will be rescaled so that the entire area is enclosed in the graph. To undo the scale change, choose Edit Undo Scale Change. To redo the scale change, choose Edit Redo Scale Change. To pan across the graph, press Option on a Macintosh or Alt on a Windows computer and position the cursor in the middle of the graph. The cursor will change to a hand shape. You may need to move the cursor slightly before it changes shape. With the hand cursor showing, hold the mouse down and drag left or right. While pressing Option on a Macintosh or Alt on a Windows computer, click the middle of the graph and gently fling it to the right. The graph will continue to pan until you click to stop it. To auto-scale the axis and recreate the original graph, choose Graph Auto-Scale Axes. To close the graph, press Command-Option-W on a Macintosh or Control-Alt-W on a Windows computer. Using the keyboard shortcuts avoids the normal dialog asking whether to save the graph. This concludes the video on zooming and panning.